When deciding on the best web hosting provider, one size doesn't fit all. So picking four top providers on any list and answering the question of which is the best website hosting isn't so easy, especially when each of you need different features, performance, and budgeting options. Today, let's make a quick and to the point comparison of Hostinger, DreamHost, SiteGround, and Bluehost. Let me help you pick not the best, but the right hosting provider for you. First, let's talk about pricing and budgeting. Web hosting is in a one-time deal, so understanding long-term costs is key. Each provider offers discounted promo pricing for your first hosting period, and you can snag even better deals with the special discount links below. But while these discounts make getting started easy, you'll notice a small crossed out price or a hidden note somewhere. That's the renewal price you'll pay after the initial discounted period, and it's often several times higher. So let's dive into both the introductory and real prices. Hostinger shines as the best cheap web hosting option, with plans starting at under $3 per month. The basic plan packs in essentials like a free SSL certificate, a generous 100 gigabytes of SSC storage, weekly automatic backups, and even free domain who is privacy protection. The renewal price starts around $8 per month, but there are no hidden extras or annoying upsells. Everything you need is included in the plans. Want more AI tools? Simply upgrade your plan for just a few extra bucks. By contrast, DreamHost starts slightly higher but emphasizes simplicity with just two straightforward plans. The starter plan matches Hostinger in pricing and most resources, although storage is more restrictive at 50 gigabytes. The biggest drawback? It lacks a professional email account unless you upgrade. Honestly, the unlimited plan is a more viable option, as it's only slightly more expensive but includes unmetered bandwidth, storage, and unlimited emails. Renewals here are similar to Hostinger, with real prices starting at around $7 per month. While all providers offer 30-day money-back guarantees, DreamHost stands out with its 97-day guarantee. Unlike Hostinger, DreamHost includes a few upsells and extras, though personally, I'd only recommend the email upgrade if needed. Meanwhile, SiteGround, well, it leans toward higher tier pricing, targeting business or e-commerce users. The initial price doesn't seem too steep, just $3 a month for one site with 10 gigabytes of storage, a free domain, and CDN included. While one site and 10 gigabytes might not sound like much, it compensates with daily automatic backups and runs on 100% renewable energy, if that's important to you. The real issue with SiteGround is a renewal cost. The pricing jumps to $15 a month. For a single site with 10 gigabytes of storage, that's quite a lot. Unless your site generates income, spending this much for a blog or landing page just doesn't make sense. Finally, Bluehost web hosting strikes a balance between affordability and features. While its entry-level plan is slightly pricier than Hostinger's, unless you use our discount link, of course, Bluehost compensates with free SSL, a domain for the first year, a basic CDN, and the ability to host up to 10 sites with a 10 gigabytes overall storage limit. It's not the most resource heavy provider for the price, but at $3 a month, it's a solid introduction. When it comes to renewals, Bluehost falls in the middle. The real pricing starts at around $12 a month. So it's not as cheap web hosting as Hostinger, but also not as expensive as SiteGround. Ease of use is vital, especially for beginners who don't wanna spend ages learning navigation. Are any of these providers truly bad at website management and controls? Not at all. All of them feature modern dashboards, so you won't need to use cPanel or other advanced panels. When it comes to web hosting for beginners, any of these providers will work since you can easily one-click install WordPress. That said, there are some differences worth noting. Hostinger's intuitive H panel might be my personal favorite, with straightforward tools to manage WordPress, slick navigation, and minimal upselling. However, it does have a small drawback. It occasionally lags under heavy usage and frequent design updates can lead to a bit of a messy workflow. On the other hand, Bluehost might technically take the lead in controls, combining an intuitive native dashboard with the option to manage settings via the traditional cPanel. It's simple, rarely lags, and offers a plethora of WordPress-related tools. DreamHost takes third with a clean, beginner-friendly interface. It's straightforward with simple navigation, but there are quite a few upsells and some unnecessary elements, like this banner repeating info already displayed below. SiteGround, on the other hand, offers a great control panel that I personally find less appealing. It's a bit bulky with excessive space usage, though upsells are minimal. That said, SiteGround is commendable for including a dark mode option. 
Overall, all four providers have great tools, but my pick for the best panel is Bluehost, as it combines an easy-to-use custom dashboard with the flexibility of cPanel. Hosting your secure second place, while SiteGround and DreamHost can share third and fourth. Right, let's not waste time and dive into performance numbers. First, I tested using Google PageSpeed Insights, keeping in mind Google's benchmark for good website loading time, 2.5 seconds. That's the magic number if you want to stay on Google's good side. For today's comparison, I ran two tests for each provider, one with a default WordPress installation to establish a baseline, and another with a demo WordPress website to simulate a more realistic setup. You can see the results on the screen right now, and SiteGround definitely shows why they justify their higher pricing. It was the fastest, loading an empty WordPress site in just 0.5 seconds and a demo site in 0.7 seconds. Hostinger came in second close behind with 0.7 seconds for an empty site and one second for a full website. DreamHost followed, clocking in at 0.5 seconds for an empty site and 1.2 seconds for a demo site. Interestingly, Bluehost loaded both versions, empty and demo WordPress, in 1.1 seconds. I didn't optimize anything, so this result is intriguing. I might explore it in future videos. That's your cue to subscribe, by the way. Overall, speed-wise, all four providers fit within Google's recommendations, and for affordable shared hosting, that's really all that matters. Well, not really all, since the stability of the server itself and how stress-resistant your site is also play a big role. Uptime shows us a percentage of how much time your site was online and reachable. We want this to be as close to 100% as possible, but sometimes, due to technical reasons, hardware issues, maintenance, or other occurrences, 100% might not always be feasible. So, unless a provider goes to the unthinkable 99% mark, they are fine in my book. Unsurprisingly, all providers manage to hit 100% uptime in the span of a few months. If we dig deeper, Bluehost seemed to have the most stable response time and performance, followed by SiteGround, Hostinger, and then DreamHost, but these are just small differences. Finally, stress testing shows us how well the server handles traffic. Each visitor sends a request, which the server has to load, and if there are too many, the site may either display errors or crash completely. To test this, we simulate 50 virtual users browsing the site at the same time which is a bit of an overtest, but still a good benchmark and an achievement for any site. All providers passed, successfully handling all 50 users. However, when looking at the graph, SiteGround had the most stable and quickest response time, followed by Hostinger, Bluehost, and DreamHost. Overall, all four showed great results for best web hosting contenders, with Hostinger and SiteGround sort of taking the lead. But I do want to stress that both Bluehost and DreamHost were not far behind. The last thing I want to cover is security and support. You're probably not an expert web developer, so a good support network is a must. Security-wise, SiteGround takes things up a notch and snatches a win with daily backups, AI-driven anti-bot systems, and a dedicated security plugin for WordPress. Hostinger comes second, providing robust security with features like SSL certificates, DDoS protection, and server-level firewalls. Weekly backups are also included with all plans, and there are even AI troubleshooters. DreamHost enhances security with free domain privacy, automated daily backups, and a custom security plugin. It's on the same level as Hostinger, just lacks more advanced AI tools. Now, Bluehost offers solid but basic protection. SSL certificates, free backups for a year on Choice Plus and Pro plans, and malware scanning. When it comes to support options and quality, Hostinger takes the lead. Not only does it offer useful AI support, troubleshooters and scanners, but the support agents are quick to resolve issues. It's not perfect, but I appreciate that they follow up on problems to see if further help is needed. It makes me feel like a valued customer rather than just a number. SiteGround comes in second, offering quick export support most of the time. They also provide priority support on higher tier plans, although we haven't tested that. DreamHost and Bluehost share the lower spots with decent support systems, but minimal AI integration. Reviews on forums like Reddit show more mixed opinions on their support. Overall, you can't go wrong with any of these four top hosting providers. However, if you're looking for a balance of AI assistance and professional human support, Hostinger is the best choice, followed by SiteGround, then Bluehost, and finally DreamHost. For those who prioritize security, SiteGround offers the strongest core protection with Hostinger not far behind, followed by DreamHost and then Bluehost's core security. All right, to sum it all up, choosing just one best hosting provider isn't easy, as each excels in different areas depending on your needs. By now, you should have a good idea of which one aligns best with your goals. To make it clear, 
Hostinger is the best web hosting of 2025 for affordability. Bluehost is the best website hosting for beginners. DreamHost is the best website hosting provider for unlimited plans. And SiteGround offers unmatched performance, though at a higher cost. Hope this helps and happy hosting. But before we truly say goodbye, I'd love to know if you found this video helpful. If you want to see more comparisons like this, leave a comment or drop a like. We're working hard to create content that's useful for you, but we can't do that without your input. So thanks in advance. Also, the discount links are down below. Those help our channel and give you better deals. So it's a win-win. Anyway, enough jabbering. Go build your website and I'll see you all next time.